So I kind of gave up on a uh, Switch Pro controller replacement after the uh, 8 Bitto Pro 2 came out. Uh, I'm not saying this is a perfect controller, not at all, but for me, it suits my needs extremely well and it's my favorite controller out there. Use it on the Switch, use it on PC, really love it, right? But I, I started seeing a lot of people saying that this thing, the MobaPad Chitu HD mechanical controller for the Switch is a contender for best pro controller replacement, best third party controller ever. Even the company has started adopting making those claims. So it piqued my, my curiosity, my interest. I had to find out. I had to give this thing a shot. And I've been pleasantly surprised, but I am conflicted a bit. I think for some people, this may be perfect. For others, maybe not. It's really all down to preference. So real quick, the uh, MOBA pad here, the Chitu HD mechanical controller, uh, it has a lot of features. HD linear motors, I think when I looked it up on the, uh, the uh, listing on Amazon, they say they have Alps. Uh, motors in there. Okay, so you got that. Hall effect uh, joystick, six axes gyroscope, uh, mechanical buttons, and NFC. Mechanical buttons, that was the word I was looking for this entire time that I've been playing around with this thing. Uh, that's really going to be up to preference. Holy crap. Uh, and I'll show in a second here why I kind of don't like them, but other people may. So there's that, you know, box, I already unboxed it, I'm not going to bore you with all that. It came with a nice uh, manual. This company, they, they, they got it down, man. They're, they're explaining everything in here, uh, connections, the different features, you know, macros, stuff like that. A very clear and concise manual. Uh, give them props on that. There is a, a app that you could download to fine tune the controller, like, uh, you know, reprogram the buttons and stuff like that. It's not on the App Store from what I've seen, but you could like download it from their website. If you have Android, I think it's uh, on the uh, iOS App Store. I've seen people say that you could download it from there. I don't have an iOS uh, device, so yeah, we can't do all that. So here you go. This thing is interesting. Got all your basic face buttons. Pretty much uh, mimics Pro Controller, official Pro Controller with the layout. For the most part, other than you do have a uh, turbo button and a macro button there. And then on the back, your pair button and then an, a macro and macro two button. So these could be programmed to do different things or macros. And that stuff works fine. You can record macros, button presses. Uh, the one nice thing with that is these analog sticks, like you could record presses from the uh, with the macros with that. A lot of times you can't, but it doesn't record it as uh, analog presses. It'll be, you know, left, right, up, down, that kind of thing. So... Keep that in mind. And then you got your triggers, shoulder buttons, whatever, USB-C. So there's all that. And you have NFC, so you can use Amiibos. And that works just fine. A lot of times these controllers do not have that. Um, so the other thing is, which I found interesting, is like you could remove the uh, analog stick, like tops. I think they only go on one way, and I'm probably screwing it up. They have like metal. I don't know why, maybe to just make them seem more premium, but yeah, you could take off both. They don't have replacements as of yet that I've seen. Uh, and then the other thing too, is you could do the same thing ugh, with the D-pad. So it came, when I got this, it had this uh, like Xbox, like whatever, I don't know. Like didn't one of the Xbox controllers have a pad like that? Uh, but it came with this stock and I really don't like this. I thought it would be interesting and it works fine. But when I took this, because I was playing like Mario, like that, I wanted to see latency. Super Mario 1, how does it feel playing with this controller? And we'll jump into that in a second. I was using this and I, I didn't really like it. It didn't feel, uh, it felt like it was gimping my, uh, my gameplay style. I don't know. This you got to get on there, right? I'm not even sure which, uh, so if you don't get it on there, how did, oh, there we go. There we go. So D-pad's back on there. Let's get into uh, Mario real quick. I played a bunch of games and uh, it, it mostly fine, mostly fine. But this, it's kind of weird because I, I jumped back and forth uh, between using this controller and the 8-Bitto Pro 2. Once I got used to this controller, it, it was like the Pro 2 felt weird. And then I thought, you know, at first this felt weird type of thing. So it's like, 
whatever you're used to with the style of how the buttons are, um, you know, going back and forth can feel a little, a little jarring, I guess. But for me, I don't think I could reliably use, I just accidentally hit the, uh, M button, which is set to A and B right now, but, uh, <laughs> kind of a weird position. I accidentally do hit them every once in a while, but, you know, if you're conscious of it, you, you get used to not hitting them, but I do accidentally hit them from time to time, like with my, uh, middle finger. I, I don't know why. I just accidentally do. But, um, this D-pad feels great. Now, with these mechanical buttons, uh, that's the one thing that I don't like, and the triggers too, like everything's uh, mechanical and it, it's it's uh, like hair triggers. Like these things just barely like, they, there's no travel. There's really no travel, which for me has been a difficult thing to adjust to with virtually no travel. I feel that click and it registers and it registers quick. Like for that might be a plus for some people, I think. Um, for me, I don't like, I think this is a great controller, but personally, I don't like the mechanical buttons, but I love this freaking D pad. Like if this D pad wasn't as responsive as it was, I couldn't just like repeatedly like do that kind of screwed up right now. But like the D pad just feels freaking great, dude. Like no problem with it at all. Like it responds well, all the directions, but these buttons just trip me up, man. They trip me up. So great controller for like around the $50 price point, uh, you know, price range. I think they're like 50, 55 on Amazon. Uh, it's a great controller and it's got a nice heft to it. Uh, overall, the plus, everything feels and looks quality, uh, but comparing it to other options, um, yes, this is gonna, this is gonna have more, uh, you know, features than this does. By far, it, it does. These Hall Effect analog sticks, they do feel better than what's included on this. I have to give them that. Like, I just have no problem using those. Just the, the way they respond, it's great. No issues at all. Uh, so yeah, this almost, for me, this would top this, but this still wins it for me just because, you know, it's got that switch going back and forth between systems very easily, replaceable battery, the form factor is just way more comfortable with the spacing of the, the A, B, X, Y, the face buttons. And you know, you got that membrane action, which feels better to me than these like very clicky. I don't even know if you could hear the click, but I got it right next to my mic. But they are very clicky. They're mechanical keys or mechanical buttons and for me, just the way they respond and the way they feel, I can't get used to them, unfortunately. It's just the way it is for me. But if you're interested, link down below. This might be the one for you. It's almost for me. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Bye.